Storm. It's Clay with Joseph Water reporting live from the middle of the storm. Here we are, Knoyer Garden Center in Ankeny. They've got a few locations. We've got displays at both um, of the metro locations in Grimes and here in Ankeny. And right now, Cam and I are gonna get ready to tear out this entire front display. We like to update this stuff, try to keep it up with industry trends and stuff like that. These little fountain bubblers, we're gonna take them out. Uh, they've been discontinued. We've got a pondless waterfall here. We're gonna still have a pondless, it's just not gonna be in this location. And now we've got this other fountain piece here. Boop, taking it out. We're gonna reuse this from about this boulder work here to roughly 15-ish feet over into here we're gonna have a lot of these fiberglass fountain pieces so we're gonna give it a lot of height a lot of action here in the front and really kind of that eye-catching show-stopping front entrance piece that seems to be the new industry trend we got everything demoed out we got this basin put in so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a scalloped urn um, slightly different than the one that we used to have here. That was a different texture, it was a stacked slate. And then we're gonna have some tall planting material in here. We're gonna have a nice cute little path, a little bench or something to kind of show what we can do to make a big impact in a small space. That berm that used to be here is gonna go back in and then we're gonna have our small entry level pond this waterfall feature going right down into the basin. And then this bigger section throughout here is going to be a larger fountainscape let's call it a showstopper i guess something that's really going to make a big impact but as you can tell we are very very flat so these fountain pieces that we're going to put in are going to range from knee high to as big as me so we're going to get that height variance in there where maybe we don't have room to build a berm we don't want a lot of like boulder walls, landscape walls, or anything like that, but we want to get that height, that different texture, and to really capitalize and utilize that flat space. This is the stack slate urn. They've come out with some new fountain pieces that we've got spheres now. They've got these urns in various sizes. We're gonna have a little bit of everything that we can offer you as far as fountain pieces in these preformed ones. They're all gonna be right here in front of this storefront. We call this a bib liner. Basically just collects all of the splash. So if any, you know, gets windy on a certain day and it goes outside that four by four basin, now this water is all gonna go down and in. So we graded it out so it's kind of in a bowl. And then this is just kind of our safety measure to make maintenance easier. So you're not constantly having to add water. Day two, you can see we got our basin in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got our berm set up there. We had about 50 mile an hour wind gusts yesterday. We'll get that fella fixed up. Here is our berm and our plantable boulder wall. So we'll get that grade work all pushed out and everything. We're gonna start working on this pondless fall down into the basin here. We've got all of our fountain pieces. They're all the stack slate stuff. We got an upside down large sphere. So this is a newer product. And then we have a couple walls in here. And then there's those urns. Once we backfill the basin and get everything in there, we're gonna dry fit that. Sydney and Perry, they're gonna work on this pondless waterfall as we're gonna kind of space this out. So this is the plan, this is what we got going on. You can see we got a lot of extra dirt. We took a full trailer full yesterday, saved some of it for our backfill, and then we're just gonna kind of funk up grade work and everything. The goal for this new space is to really kind of showcase what we can do with a very flat area. So this is going to be a bio bowl, basically a extra filtration that we can slap onto the side of any existing feature and it's going to start its own little stream that goes over our pretty cardboard soon to be stack slate wall. We're going to have another wall on that side so a lot of water moving. So we've got this portion here finished. Clayton's got these three pieces plumbed. We're, we're filling all of this in. So obviously, we don't want to see all of our product and everything that's getting us up to height. We're going to hide some edges, soft, soften, soften this stuff up with rocks, naturalize it, bring it all together. Rather than all of this water from these two pieces cascading and falling all the way to the bottom, I've got a bed of gravel down here. And I've got this, we call it a bib liner. It's just a scrap of our liner in here. So I'm gonna foam all this in. So now we're gonna get water to hit and it's gonna more crashy, more splashy, 
it's gonna just kind of funk it up and do something other than just fall straight down we're excited we're getting closer to being done we got half of the the cool stuff over here running Woo! wham bam thank you ma'am look at that look at that nice crisp clean plumbing we're gonna get all that graveled in we're gonna cover everything up our bio bowl is cleaning up nicely over in here you can see it's windy today we're gonna be dealing with a bunch of splash so what we got to do next is obviously plumb that stuff we're gonna get this pile of dirty stuff out of here we're gonna grade this back out flat kind of bowl this out do the same thing back in here so we can still use this space how's it going everyone it's clay here with just said water and will's the one over there making all the noise loving life is i was given the project of a nice little pond list that goes into the same basin as the fountain piece we're supposed to go for a wow factor so i'm going for two sheet falls bam bam that's that's not don't even don't that yep like that and then i'll probably put the box somewhere up here make it seen draw people in you know i mean because that's not going to draw anyone in that's going to draw people in am i right here we have a wild clay perry in his natural habitat strapping rocks what? perry here is the self-proclaimed strap master of the just that water crew Strap master. So what we're doing here, underneath the super secret tarp, i.e. liner, we've got the rest of this pond list. And right where Will is digging at the moment is where the spillway box is gonna go. That thingy there, uh, it's the water source. We like to dig it down. That way it's much easier to hide. That way we can set rocks on top of it. Basically you'll never see it. It'll look supernatural. There's mama goose she's not too happy we're building you a feature be grateful the pond list that we're working on here Kanoyer Ankeny is finished look at that as you can tell we've already turned it on so you guys won't be with me for the first little sneak peek what this bad boy looks like the original pump that we had for it was the one that was used here in the original feature which was like right over there where that urn is now and it's like a seven eight year old pump finally died on us got a brand new aqua surge two to four down in there when i said we were gonna go for two sheet falls i don't know we just saw those two rocks that are used up there for that top fall and kind of fell in love with them so we did what we could but i'm thinking it's looking pretty good Let's get it turned on so you guys can see this lovely masterpiece.